Hey guys, Jacob here, Pusher. Let's talk heater grids. They are the common substitute for glow plugs, pretty much. This is the heater grid off a of 6.7 Cummins motor. Pretty much the same exact thing across the board from 2007 to the present. This is your what we call the grid here. Power comes into this stud, heats up these fins, and effectively heats up your intake air uh, for extreme cold starts. Um, we found that this, a good running 6.7 uh, motor, you know, a healthy one, doesn't really need this thing down to about zero degrees Fahrenheit. And then if you get below that, you can always rely on your block heater. The reason we say that is because this guy blocks a lot of airflow to the head. You can see here where the factory gasket used to be. Uh, I have one right here we can overlay for you. There's a lot of available area there for air to flow through that's blocked. And so that combined with the fact that the grid hangs down into the plenum, this area here, it actually makes air going to cylinders two and three have to go down and underneath that grid and get to those intake ports, really not conducive to airflow. It obviously meets the factory power rating, uh, but above that, it's really uh, leaves a lot on the table for flow. So our solution to that is our heater grid deletes. You can see two here. They're fully machined out of 6061 T6 aluminum uh, and then finished in an anodized. This is our clear or silver anodized and our titanium anodized. So you have two color choices there. Anodizing basically keeps these things looking good for the long haul. You don't have to worry about going and doing like a heavy degrease on your engine bay with a really caustic soap and making these things look milky because they're protected by the anodizing. So they're gonna stay looking good uh, thanks to that. You can see that they're fully ported out to the shape of the gasket. So you take advantage of all the available area for air to flow through. Also the bottom side is fully milled out so that you get a little more volume there in the plenum. It gives you a little more air capacity for when the intake valve opens. Minimizes this pressure drop when that happens. These guys come with factory gaskets, one for below the delete plate, one for the intake manifold above the delete plate. Comes with anodized fuel rail standoffs. So this is a totally bolt-on kit. You basically unbolt the heater grid, bolt this in place. This guy is good for 33% improvement in airflow over the factory uh, grid when you run it with the aftermarket manifold. Um, and just a really simple deal. Uh, you know, really affordable, big gains. I noticed a huge difference right on that very initial throttle response when you're taking off from a stoplight. Obviously, they throw uh, flow really good through the whole RPM band, but that initial just touch of the throttle was drastically improved, which is really nice for towing and you know just getting up and moving. So these are on the site. You can go check them out. There's a, a, a more in-depth write-up on the differences and, and how we make them and the differences here in the uh, intake area. If you have any questions, concerns, we're here for you. Give us a call. Shoot us an email. And thanks for watching.